In this video, I'm going to show you how to expose your local host so that you can view your website on your phone. I have a website here on localhost 5173. I actually generated this website with ChatGPT and ChatGPT also made it responsive. If I want to make changes to my website, like welcome to my domain, instead of having to host this application before viewing it locally, I can view it locally directly. I can see it says welcome to my domain. How do you go about this? Well, there there are two ways which I'm going to show in this video. The first way requires you to be on the same Wi-Fi connection and the second method you don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi connection. So for the first method you have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. I'm on my MacBook but you can also follow the same process for your Windows. I'm going to head over to system settings network Wi-Fi and then the Wi-Fi I'm currently connected to. Then I'll go to the details of that Wi-Fi and on that Wi-Fi I can find the IP address here. Now since my phone is also connected to this same Wi-Fi connection connection i can access this ip address so my phone i can go to the ip address 100.80.65.53 and then i can access the port that my website is currently hosted on and now i have the website here if i make changes to my website here it even has hot reloading so dillion megida we have hot reloading on the desktop here and we also have hot reloading on the mobile phone so i can easily preview things as i change it if you're using vit to run your development server you don't need to go to your system settings to find your ip address you can just run npm run dev which is going to run vit let me show you that in package j so npm run dev is vit you can run npm run dev dash dash and then dash dash host or you can just create something like this in your package json dev host which is going to call vit host and now i can run npm run dev host and then this is going to be your local address and then this is going to be the address available on the network which is still the ip address for my wi-fi network and the port and i can view things on my phone but what if i wasn't on the same internet connection let's say i turned off my wi-fi and i'm using mobile data or i'm connected to a different wi-fi in that case it's not going to work so if it's not connected on the same wi-fi this is where i can use a feature in vs code called port forwarding and this a service you can find on other platform is not just vs code but with vs code i can forward a local running port over the internet so i want to forward the port 5173 then i press enter and this is going to forward the port so when it forwards the port i have a forwarded address here which i can open here now because this port is currently private if i want to access this forwarded address i would have to log in with github and if i should also use this forwarded address on my phone i'd also have to log in with github that's just to provide some security so that not just anybody can access your local running port but i could also come here right click port visibility make it public it's of course going to warn you that anybody on the internet can access that service but let's just continue for this and now if i should open this port yeah it's going to tell me i'm going to develop a tunnel and now we have the same website running here and if i should also open this port on my phone i'm pasting this from my mac and i go yes it's going to tell me this this is in dutch uh, but then we have the same thing here and now if i should change this to welcome to my landing page we have the hot reloading here and we also have the hot reloading on my phone and in this case i don't need to be connected to the same network i can even share this forwarded address with a friend somebody in a different country and because this forwarded address is available on the internet everybody can access my local running website you should be careful of making your forwarded address public though for better safety you can make this private which is going to require you to log in on github on your phone on your laptop or wherever you share this address if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share it with others and follow me for more web dev tips like this.